Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's video. So in today's video I'm doing an empties video and I haven't done one since the day I started my YouTube channel. Like that was the first ever video I've done was an empties video and I think it was back in June last year. Yeah it was, that was when I first started YouTube and I literally remember filming that video. Like a lot of stuff was different and it was just so hard like I remember it, it went dark and the camera stopped recording. It was just horrendous. But anyway, eight months later, we're back. So I have got quite a few empties to go through. And it's mainly all cleansers. I think cleansers are probably the one product I do go through the most and toner. But I'll go for it in order. So I'll do like all cleansers first. Then I'll do some toners. Then an exfoliator. Yeah, we'll just go from there. So cleansers. Okay, so I'm sure there'll be no surprise which cleanser I have used through and through. And it is Pro Collagen Cleansing by Home from Elemis. And I've actually got another three. <laughs> the obsession is real when it comes to Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. So in case you didn't know, I am a diehard fan for um, through a collagen cleansing balm. I just love it. I think it's great for all skin types. It's just such a subtle, gentle, nourishing, fabulous balm cleanser. For me personally, I will only ever use a balm cleanser. I don't I don't mind milk, so I don't mind cream. I've got a cream here actually, but I'm not a fan of like gels, foaming cleansers, anything like that, anything that strips the skin. I wanted something that's gonna put more nourishment, hydration, and just give my skin a gorgeous glow and just make it feel nice. And this is exactly what these do for me. I've used gel formulas in the past and they're quite stripping. I feel like they just strip my skin down, which they can do, but these really just add so much nourishment and they can ask, act as a mini mask as well. So other than one, I'll put this on, get in the shower, let it all work into my skin, get out and then obviously take it off for a warm washcloth. But these are so lovely. I think the £43 now, they used to be like 41 I think they've gone up a couple of pounds. But also, I've also had the travel sizes and I've had numerous of these. These are great for traveling so i go to cornwall quite a lot my friend lives down there so i'm always in cornwall and the majority of times i do fly just because it's easier so i'll take one of these and these you can get them for like nine pounds off like asos or you can get them on feel unique you can get them on all different websites but for nine pounds i think they're really ideal and they're ideal as well also if you didn't want to try it first just in case you didn't like it but i can assure you you would love it so for 43 pounds you do get i think it's 105 yeah 105 grams these are so dirty. I've literally been collecting them, so excuse that. And then you get the 20 gram for £9. So these are the different sizes, but I would always recommend the sample size first just to be sure that you do love it rather than going on paying the 43 and not loving it. But you will. So yeah, so these are my all-time favourite cleansers. So I've got two and a half. I think I've got another one somewhere. Anyway. Next, another cleanser I got for Christmas and I hadn't used it in so long. Used it and I was like, used it and I was like, yeah, I remember why I love it. The only thing is, it's so expensive. Well, it's not so expensive, but compared to what it was, it's gone up in price. It's now, it's Emma Hardy. Anyway, it's the Moringa one from Emma Hardy. I think it's now £47. So it is dear for the cleanser and you can see how many cleansers I do go through. So it is but it's a gorgeous cleanser and with all the cleansers you do get the microfiber cloths too which are fabulous for removing makeup and just removing the cleanser in general so this is the emma hardy oh that smell this is one of the well this was the first cleanser i ever purchased due to caroline highlands i was obsessed with it going up as like being like about 17 to 19 that's all i used to watch was caroline hardens and then this was the first cleanser i ever paid just ever born cleanser anyway and it, that smell it just takes me back to when i was like 17 like to my skin and just just like a nice a nice smell so yeah so that's the emma hardy as i say it is 47 pounds you get 100 ml of products so you you do get a slightly little bit more in pro collagen and it is slightly cheaper too but still a fabulous cleanser then another cleanser <laughs> really has been loved. I've lost the lid. I think I dropped it so many times, but it's Sarah Chapman Skinness' Ultimate Cleanse. It does have a push down applicator, which I loved. I thought it was great for on the go. You wouldn't waste any products because you just literally push down. Mine 
there's no way to be seen but anyway so i really do love this i think i got this on offer i think i feel unique let's just double check how much it actually is um so on feel unique it was let's have a little look i got this a while back on feel unique because they had a deal on i think i paid 37 ish i can't remember i think there was a sale around that set of price anyway but the average price like the full price of it now is 44 pounds so it's similar in terms of pro collagen cleansing balm but yeah it is a gorgeous cleanser i've actually got oh this is my next video. I've actually got the, the travel size here, which again I've took away to Cornwall, I've took it to London. The travel size is £16.50. This isn't empty yet, I've been using this. So for the full size, you get 100ml, which is 44 did I say? And the travel size is 30ml and it's £16. So, but honestly, like I just love the help. I've even got more share chat and stuff here, like. I do really love Sarah Chapman. I think it's a fabulous brand. She's British. I just love everything about it. I, I love the packaging. I love the brand. I love the name. I love everything about it. I'm such a huge fan of Sarah Chapman. So this is really such a gorgeous cleanser. Again, very, very similar in terms of... Actually, I'll show you because there's a little bit left in this. Very similar in terms of Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. don't want to waste any. But it's just... And it looks like Emma Hardy too, if it'll focus... So it looks like that and then you would just massage it into the skin, warm it up and then you would go in with like a warm washcloth and then just remove that but really massage it into your skin, get under like your fine facial hair. Mm, smells so nice. So yeah, that was definitely a favourite and you can see I've already got the travel size too. So yeah, loved Sarah Chapman and she's actually a facialist as well. She's actually Victoria Beckham's facialist. So if it's good enough for VB, it's good enough for us. Next up is another cleanser. This is from La Cura. This is the Hot Clock Cleanser, which just sold out completely. But I think it's back in stock on the 7th of March. So I love it again. Very, very similar to Lizelle's Hot Clock Cleanser. £4, I think it was. Was it £4 or £5? I think it was £4. It also comes with the cloth. In terms of value for money, if you are someone who you're on a low budget, you don't, you can't really afford to spend like 15 or £40 even on a cleanser get this it is four pounds in aldi if you can get your hands on it though but i do believe it is coming back into stock but it's such a lovely gentle cleanser and especially if you're someone with sensitive skin it's so calm and soothing it doesn't make you break out i've never had any problems i don't have sensitive skin now but it's such a lovely product and it even smells like the lizelle one too it is the actual dupe but you can see it's completely empty let's see if i can squeeze a bit out oh yeah okay so yeah it is a cream consistency looks like that and it just smells of lizelle i've used lizelle before i've never had a problem with it i loved lizelle but then i obviously got this to review it on the blog and i do i love it for four pounds you really can't complain so love that Another cleanser is the Chamomile Cleansing Butter from The Body Shop. I first seen this again, Caroline Hardens. God, she knows how to hook it up when it comes to a cleansing balm. But I went to The Body Shop, they kindly gave me one. Amazing, amazing for removing makeup. £10 it is, and it's on similar lines to Clinique Take The Day Off. Let me see if I can show you. No, it's completely empty. But it's not like a balm like this, it's more of like an oily balm honestly 10 pounds such a fab product and the chamomile range anyway from the body shop is so gentle really good for all skin types but for the moving makeup for 10 pounds as well and it's literally like clinic take a day off i love this let's go on to toners i'm sure you all know what's coming and i've got some good news as well also so this is the healthy glow toner from aldi also from the liqueur brand if you haven't heard it has been like gold dust to get hold of one of these they've sold out all over the country i've had people i've had some of my followers sending me stuff up so thank you so much to everybody who sent me a liqueur really appreciate it i've got them all in this drawer up here so i love them so yeah these this is four pounds and it is the dupe for the pixie health glow tonic sorry absolutely such an amazing product it's four pound like the love I have for this but anyway it is coming back into stock on the 7th of March 
so I will be buying 40. <laughs> No, I am going to literally get, I told my mum, because I'll be in work that day, I was like, you need to go to Aldi and spend £40 on it. <laughs> get like 10 So, I th well, obviously I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that in case there's not enough for everyone, but I am literally going to get quite a few bottles because the struggle I went through to get one of these. I must have tried this. That's, I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly the date I got this and how long it took them to get it back into store. So... I'm going on my Instagram to show you the picture I put up when I fit, very first purchased them. Must have been around. Here it is. 29th of September. This is, and I bought two from Aldi in Liverpool. And this is how long I haven't been able to get it. So that was the 29th of September. I purchased all that. And nothing since. We're now up to March. <laughs> so if you can get your hands on these, get a couple, maybe even ten. Because when they're gone, and the amount of emails I've emailed Aldi, like, it was just, it was like gold dust, basically. But yeah, amazing. So the 7th of March, they are back in. Get your hands on them. Fabulous. Then let's come on to some serums and treatments. So, Hydrators is Marine Hyaluronics. Love it. I've got, I did have a few bottles of these, but I must have thrown them when I was decorating the room. But um, again, I've loved this for so long. Such an amazing product. Great for all skin types. Even if you are the most sensitive of skin types, the most oiliest of skin types, you can use this. It's just going to hydrate your skin. It is such a gorgeous, gentle, fabulous product. It's literally like water. There's nothing even in it to even show you what the consistency is. I've got some more somewhere, but honestly, really nice product. I think it's about £5.90 on the Ordinary's website. Actually, tell a lie. I've got some stuff here. I went to Desium. This is going to be another haul, but I'll just quickly show you. I went to Desium in London and I got a brand new one. So this is a brand new one. That's the old one. But I'll save all that good stuff for another video because that's me next video I'm doing is the Desium haul. So yeah, absolutely love this. I think it's like, like £5.90. Gorgeous. Then the peeling solution, which I use, as you all know, for midweek mask. Again, such a favourite. I've gone through so many bottles. I've also got another bottle in the Desium bag as well, where I picked up. And for like £6, it, like this, in terms of value for money, Desium just hit the nail on the head, especially the Ordinary anyway. So, will be well, I have. I've repurchased about four of these now, but I've got everyone onto it. What an amazing product. It, it is an AHA. I use it twice a week. If you are sensitive, try it. If you are sensitive, try it first beforehand. You might only be able to use it once a week. Just see how your skin reacts to it. Obviously, don't put a lot on. Just do a little patch test, but I've never had a problem with it. And, and a little story. I, I've been, the last couple of weeks or so, I've been getting my room decorated. So, everything has just been everywhere. Like, I've been living out of boxes. All my stuff was in my mum's room while the room was getting painted. All of that. So, it was horrendous living out of boxes. All my skincare was just non-existent. And so, I, I weren't keeping as on top of doing the peeling solution twice a week. So, it's got to like a couple of weeks now where I hadn't used it. I used it on day last week and I could feel it kick. I had to feel the tingle, all that good stuff. Like, I knew it was kicking in. I've broke out as well. So, I thought this will definitely help it. But, honestly... These two products from The Ordinary will always be my favourite. I love them. So their face. Then coming on to another Sarah Chapman product. This is a hydrator. This is the Hydrating Booster, which I've now actually purchased the full size. I went through about 10 of these little mini ones. And it's just, it's so lovely. It's similar to this. This is a little bit thicker and this is a lot more expensive. If you are someone who does want more of a cheaper alternative, this is fab and this is a lot more thinner. This is like water, but this is still such a gorgeous product. I love how it's an intense hydrating booster. So it really does boost the skin and give it all that good nourishment and hydration it needs. So this, I've used it for so long now, I think. Well before Christmas, I got, I got using it and I honestly do love it. So I've, pit, I've got the full size now, so no worrying about running out. You only need a small amount. It can be expensive, the full size amount. That's why I get the smaller sizes first. That's what I was doing anyway. But yeah, I love this. Then we've got the Glow Oil from the Skin Prep. This is my friend's brand. This is probably one of my favourite oils 
ever like everything about it and there's a tiny little bit left but even down to the smell the way it looks on the skin i used this last summer and it just gave such a fabulous glow to the skin like people are like for stopping me and work saying what have you got on your skin and it was this and it's so affordable i think it might be about 15 pounds i'm not sure i will leave all the details in the description box she is she's my best friend in aims the skin prep on instagram she does her own skincare like she's she's a makeup artist she does me lashes she is one talented girl laura but yeah she's an all-rounder and so she starts her own brands so she's gave me some products to try. I've got a few other products here what I'm going to mention in other videos. But for the time being now, this is the Glow Oil. And it's honestly, this is best than some brands. Like, this is seriously such a fabulous oil. Well, let me just see if I can show you it. And the smell, the smell is the next level. I can't even smell it anymore because there's hardly anything left. But like, it looks like this. It's a yellow formula. put it on your skin and it's honestly such a fab product my mind's completely ruined this the lids broke on it and everything that's how much it's loved but all i like to do is take a few small drops press and pat it into the skin and it just gives such off a gorgeous glowing healthy fab glow to the skin like it really is such a fab product and i'm so so proud of it like she just is such a lovely girl. She's due to have a baby as well. She's literally ready to pop. She's still making this. She's still doing eyelashes. She's doing me lashes next week. She's still doing all her makeup appointments. She's literally ready to pop. Like she, honestly, she's such a fabulous friend. So check it out anyway. It's the Skin Prep and it's affordable, amazing skincare. So that's the Glow Oil. And then we are at the end one more product left so it is mainly it was mainly all cleansers really and a few serums but this is from glam glow i haven't used this in a while it's completely dried up there's a tiny little bit left but i wouldn't even bother putting that on because that's like cement but it looks like this there's only like a little bit left i do like it i, I wouldn't it's not something i would use daily it's something i would use monthly so i like to use it when my skin's feeling like congested or like all clogged up and you need like a really good exfoliator this is fab it is really abrasive it does have a tingling to it but as i say it's not something i would use on a daily basis it's something i would use maybe every now and again when i think oh god my skin could do with like a good boost get rid of all that dead skin i would then use this these are about 40 pound 45 pounds you can get the smaller sizes for about 16 you can get them like marks and spencer boots now stock glam glow so the debenhams a lot of places do but glam glow was one probably one of the first products i purchased when like i was really getting into skincare i remember i'd be watching jacqueline hill and she'd be doing giveaways and she'd be like and i've put I've included the Glam Glow 30 mods. I've included this from Glam Glow. And at the time, this is how long ago it was, you couldn't get it in the UK. And I remember wanting that. I'd enter all the giveaways <laughs> to try and win the Glam Glow. I would never win them. And then it finally came to the UK. And I was like, oh my God. Oh no, tell a lie before that. I moved to Dubai. Both. Oh my God, three years this summer. Wow. So I moved to Dubai three years ago for the summer. And they obviously have a Sephora. They've like their shopping and skincare was next level. Like it was just oh, I had to spend so much anyway. I remember being in Sephora and I was in the queue. I was buying something and I seen the little pots of Glam Glow. So bearing in mind, I'd gone from watching Jacqueline Hill talking about Glam Glow, all the big YouTubers talking about it, but I'd never actually seen it because we didn't stop it in the UK. And I'm in the queue and I seen it and I was like, oh, it's Glam Glow. So I had to get one. So I got the little mini glam glow and that was it. The rest is history. Have I still got it? No, I've not still got it, but I've got the bigger size. The, it was the blue thirsty. Is it thirsty mud? Thirsty mud it is. I think it's like great for flights, things like that. So I used it in Dubai. Didn't look back. So that's how long I've been loving glam glow, really. As I say, it's not something I do reach for on a daily basis, but it loves have a heart. It loves have a place in my heart, glam glow. But yeah, so I really do like that. I haven't repurchased it yet. But I think in time I probably will do. I've also got little mini ones as well. But yeah, it's now stocked in the UK. So you can get it on Boots. You can get it on Glam Glow's website. You can get it on, I think, ASOS as well. I think they stock it. But 
I was so, like, if you've ever purchased anything from, from Glamgland, you'll see it comes in, like, the fab packaging. It comes in, like, little, like, boxes. And it's just super fab. I love it. So, yeah, but that was all for this month's empties. I can't believe it's been eight months. So, literally, it's been eight months since I started YouTube. And I literally remember for weeks and weeks and weeks, I was like, I'm going to do it this weekend. I'm going to do it this weekend. And I just kept putting it off and off and off. And I just... And now it's like... I love it, I love just like filming little videos, but I remember I got the camera, it was all meant to be, I'll tell you quickly about it. So I, the camera I wanted, I'd seen Jaclyn Hill using it, I was obsessed with Jaclyn Hill growing up. So the camera, I've got the A5 100, so I've seen that, I've always wanted it, and at the time it was like £500 and I thought, this was before I was even doing my blog, this was like when I was literally 18 just wanting a camera. And I was like, there's no point paying it just for selfies. Like, and she's always rave on, like, she used this camera and it was always the A5100, what the bloggers used. So that was that. That was like, well, 25 now. So that must have been when I was 18 or 19, around that anyway. So I never, ever got the camera. And then the camera went down to 350. And then I managed to get a discount on top of it. So I got the camera for like 300, which was a huge saving so I finally got the camera I had the ring light I had everything and it was just a case of like filming the video and I remember filming the very first video and obviously because I've never filmed before never edited never done anything of that I was filming and the battery on these I'm gonna be honest is not the best so I got halfway through the empties video and it died but I didn't realize I could just carry on but obviously because I'd, I'd never used the camera before, I had to refilm the whole thing. Looking back now, I could have just literally started again and then put the two videos together. But I didn't know that. Then I remember I tried to edit the video. That was one day what really tested my patience. That's the day I considered YouTube, reconsidered it even. But yeah, so I remember I had to, all I had to do was edit where I clicked the start button, which obviously you don't see because I edited it out. So I had to just click it and then like do the intro. And then at the end, I just had to turn it off. So I just had to cut it a second or two each side, just where to turn it off and turn it on, turn it on and turn it off. Six hours later, <laughs> six hours it took me <laughs> to edit the clip by two seconds each side, like, and I was just, I remember texting everybody and I'm not, nobody, nobody knew because none of my friends are YouTubers, none of them do editing. It was honestly, you know, when you're just like thinking, why can't I do this? It turns out to be the most simplest thing ever, but I'd be like on my phone watching the tutorial on YouTube, like on the MacBook, because I've got a Mac watching it all, like it was just horrendous. And as I've just been filming this, it's just cut out. So I don't think this is the best camera. I'll be completely honest, it's just not, it always says it's too hot. I don't know how, because it's like minus five. <laughs> but it's always say it's too hot to do this, to that anyway. I won't bore you with the camera story, but yeah, this was eight months ago. I last filmed me empty, so I'm like, we're getting there, we're getting on. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's ever subscribed, really, and like for all the love and support. Like, it really does mean a lot when when I see like a, like a lovely comment I'm like do you know what people you, people don't need to say that so honestly thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed and just been around for the last eight months I honestly love you all and hope to see you, see you all in the next eight months and maybe eight years who knows but honestly thank you so much to everyone I do love you all and I'll see you all in the next video bye